Hey guys, welcome to Track Kick Off Road. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you kind of the day and the life of me. I own my own business, mobile auto paint repair. I'm not gonna show you every little thing, there's some trade secrets. So I'm not gonna give you a step-by-step -step of how to paint your car, but I'll show you what I do every day. And uh, we're gonna be painting the rocker panel. Uh, on today's agenda, we're gonna be working on this 2020 Hyundai Elantra. And somebody previously repaired this rocker panel and they just didn't prep it well enough. And uh, yeah, paint's peeling away. Dealership wants it fixed, so we're gonna take care of it. Let's uh, go ahead and get sanded on this thing. So for sanding down the damaged area, I just use a little DA sander and 320 grit sandpaper. This is actually Duragold from Amazon. This stuff works really good. Uh, if you're interested in, you know, prepping damaged areas and painting it on your car, I will link the sandpaper in the description below because it's cheap and it works really freaking good. I didn't bring my tripod because I usually do not film these types of videos, but I figured why not share it. So bear with me, the camera works on it would be great, but I'll make it good as possible. So basically with this damage i'm gonna probably have to sand out to here and feather it out get everything smooth as you can see it's kind of a factory orange peel we'll leave that and i'll probably end up coming to about here feathering it out and then up and then we're going to deal with this little scratch too while we're at it and we'll just kind of sand that area primer it and then we'll start playing paint in so the goal here is not necessarily perfection because making this perfect you're going to need to do a lot of blending have a paint booth and you're going to be spending a lot more time making a lot less money so we just make it as good as we possibly can whenever you're sanding or painting or anything you want to make sure you wear a respirator because this stuff can kill you <laughs> All right, so I got this all sanded out as far as I want to go. Now I'm not looking for a 100% smooth texture because this whole rocker panel is not smooth. That's just how new cars are from the factory to protect from like rock chips and stuff. So now we're just gonna get this cleaned up and get ready for the next step. First, I'm gonna address this little tiny scratch. Now the thing is, is I can feel it with my fingernail so I know it's not gonna buff out. So the scratch is gone, as much, as much sanding as I'm gonna do. Now we're gonna clean this up and start prepping it and get ready for primer. So for cleaning this, I just use a glass cleaner. Just spray this whole rocker panel down. Get her nice and cleaned up. So the next thing I'm gonna do is take a little wax and grease remover. I just put a little on a paper towel. That works fine. And just clean down this whole entire panel. Okay, so we got this, oh, there's a little, little dirt on the tape. We got it all cleaned up, but now what we're gonna do is we're gonna tape off where we don't want primer because it helps with cleanup. And when you sand down that primer, you don't wanna be sanding the whole panel. You only wanna feather out to where you have to, et cetera, et cetera. All right, so I got everything taped off where I want primer, where I don't. So we're going to primer this whole section, skip that, primer that real quick, and then uh, skip that. We might, we'll deal with that so we don't need any overspray and that as well. But uh, I just want to say to all you paint and body guys out there, they're going to be like, oh, you're doing this wrong. You need to do that. You need to do that. Well, I need to tell you, this is a mobile auto paint repair business. And this is how pretty much every mobile auto paint repair guy does it sometimes even worse that's why this failed was because another mobile guy didn't do it right now as long as you prep it good take your time it'll be fine so now i'm just i just clean it again with some uh, wax and grease remover we're gonna let it flash start uh, getting the primer ready tack it off and spray it so for primer i use this sim or sem high build primer just out of an aerosol can. It makes cleanup less of a hassle, much quicker. 
uh, in the field out here, this is the way to go. Less equipment you gotta carry around and it works just as good, honestly. Now, I don't use aerosol to spray the car with paint and clear, but primer, this works great. Now, the only difference is, is I would use a darker primer typically on a blue car because the paint, it takes a lot more coats of paint to cover this really light primer up, but it'll be fine. So I always have my heat gun ready so we can get this drying as fast as possible. Sorry for all the cars in the background. But uh, for a small panel like this, heat gun works great. For bigger panels, say a quarter or a bumper, I will use a heat lamp basically. That will be fine for a first coat. I go ahead, take my heat gun, get it nice and warm. Now, I'm not gonna bore you with all the other coats, but you're gonna be like, oh, that's rough. Well, like I said, it's supposed to be rough. That's just how it was from the factory. We're gonna leave it that way to make it as look, make it look like nothing happened. That's, that's our uh, goal. So it's all primered out, looks pretty good. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna block it with like a 600 to kind of shape it and feather out these hard edges and then hit it with an 800 just to smooth everything out, clean it up and we're pretty dang close to being ready for paint. And the reason why we gotta feather out these hard lines is because if you just, let's say smooth it and leave that hard edge and you paint it, that hard edge, you will you will always see it. Sorry, I can't talk. It's all the chemicals. But uh, yeah, you'll see it through the paint no matter what. So we gotta feather that out. I'm not gonna bore you with sand and all this. So I'm just gonna knock it out and uh, we'll get, get on to the next thing. All right, so I got it smoothed out, feathered out as good as I'm gonna get for this small of a panel. Now I'm gonna take some of this Bulldog adhesion promoter so that the paint actually sticks and it doesn't have the problem that it did. This will solve probably all the issues. So I'm just gonna spray a light coat of this adhesion promoter. That'll do. So what I have here is just a half pint of VU. That's the paint code for a Hyundai and it's a Coast Blue. So I'm gonna mix up one part of this paint, one part of this reducer, and we are ready to rock. It's always scary around here. It looks like it's gonna rain, but it shouldn't. So you now we're just gonna measure out. Oh, shoot. We're gonna do, we'll go ahead and just do an ounce of paint. And we'll do an ounce of reducer. Well, that's a little extra, but it'll be all right. Do a little mixy mixy. I always want, I, I did this before I started. We always want to come over, make sure it matches. It's super, super, super close. So it's good enough for what we're doing. Now we're just gonna grab our strainer and strain the, strain the paint in. The gun I'm using today is a Finex or a Graco Finex FX 1000. It's a perfect little touch-up gun with a three-ounce cup. Actually, it might be four ounces, but legally you're only allowed to spray three ounces at a time. So I just put three ounces in to obey by code, and uh, we're gonna get uh, to spraying. Got my heat gun ready. Now let's get out of. Hey, I got something, something to say. I'm just so sick of hearing everyone complain. I know it's well, we got all the paint laid down. Looks super good. Obviously, it's got a matte finish. We're getting ready to clear coat it. But uh, yeah, perfect blend. It looks great. As you can tell, we had to lay down some coats. Blue is really a difficult color to uh, to cover up things and that cheaper paint that I use at dealerships 
Uh, it doesn't cover that well, but we got it. Can't tell, can't tell anything ever happened. So now let's get on the clear coat in it. So for cars at dealerships, I just use Euro Clear. It's cheap, it works good. Um, then I just use a medium activator. Usually I'd use a fast activator, but I've had good luck with a medium activator. The slower that the activator is, the smoother it's gonna lay down and the smoother it's gonna turn out. And then we're gonna use the SIM blends in and this is where we will where we end our clear coat so we're going to blend this with the old clear coat and then it'll look like it never happened so what we'll do is we'll take this and we'll end up spraying it right here and somewhere right in here and the blend is it's not even noticeable it works really good all right so we're going to do one well four parts of the clear coat oh a little too much i'll pour it then we're gonna do one part activator maybe a little bit more just so it activates a little quicker no oh, you guys didn't even see that did you? now we're gonna do a little stirry stirry this is probably more than we need so we're honestly wasting it anyway so let's throw money out the door, but we'll be all right. So I just used the same gun for clear. You don't need to go buy, you know, a bunch of different guns. This gun will work just as good for clear as it does for paint in the field. So now we're gonna go ahead and get this clear coat laid down. We're gonna do one light coat, let it get tacky, and then get a heavy coat on there, and then add our blends, and we'll be all done. It'll look great. Probably not even gonna have to buff it. We're actually not gonna buff it because it's such a rough surface anyway. It's it wouldn't it wouldn't matter. So let's get out of it. The trick is turn your air pressure up so it atomizes better. You want more air pressure than you want to have with your paint, and then it'll lay, atomize good and lay down great. It's there, ready to fire or ready to go. I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, just because the clear coat is the most crucial stage. You want it to look good. You don't want the dirt and the bugs in it. So you want to get that stuff drying. And I don't really know what comes next. I'm just doing my best even though I'm First coat is done. Now we're just gonna let it dry and get tacky. And now we're gonna spray a nice heavy coat on there have this heat gun ready to go the thing is if you start getting runs which is really cold out so that's very possible um ideally we don't want any runs but if you get runs you can stop that run fast with the heat gun so we're just gonna let this dry up just get tacky you get a nice heavy coat on there and uh, let it dry this bad boy is done on yourself on your faith on your dream oh yeah she's beautiful so last coat's done i threw that blend in right there you can't even tell the paint stopped there clear coat stopped there that's old clear coat you can tell because there's like a little tiny tiny rock chip right there that we didn't take care of but uh they need this car done quick anyway we threw that blend in right here and I uh, can't even tell nice and shiny hello hello yeah looks great that blend stuff does wonders so at this point it's done we're just gonna wait for it to dry up um, I don't know I'm gonna give it like 45 minutes keep hitting it with the heat gun we're gonna peel the tape this thing's ready to go back out on the lawn There it is in all its glory. It's all done. It's uh, decently dry. Now it's just gonna go back out on the lot and sit and wait for somebody to buy it. But uh, the color matches perfectly. It looks pretty schnazzy. I don't know why I say schnazzy so much, but the color is 
perfect. No overspray, clean the car up. That's it, that's, uh, that's a, the finished product. Well, I know this isn't the normal content for this channel. Uh, we will tune back into the off-road stuff here in, uh, very soon. Uh, this video is gonna come out on a Sunday. I think Sundays are gonna be the random video days, kinda, where we just do oddball stuff. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more of this mobile paint repair stuff, I can do it periodically. Just let me know. Um, you know, it's not 100% perfect, but it's 99% and that's what we like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Leave a like. Again, thanks for watching. Uh, have a good one. Yeah.